So here we're going to continue with solving system of linear equations, but now we're going to use a method called substitution. And so essentially what that means is it really is like what we were doing before. Once you have one variable isolated, you now have an expression that can represent that variable. And so then you can use that expression into the second equation um, and to help you solve the system. So for instance, here I have the variable x that is already isolated. And this sentence is saying, or this equation is saying that x is equivalent to the expression 2y minus 11. Which means in um, this equation, instead of using the x, I can use the expression that x is equivalent to. So instead of using x here, I can say 4 times 2y minus 11. And then if I distribute my 4 and combine my like terms and then add 44 to both sides. And then divide by 13. I get y equals 4. Now I have the y value. In order for me to find the x value, I can come back to this expression to help me find x. So x equals 2 times the y value I just found gives me 8 minus 11, which is negative 4. So x equals negative 4. So my point is negative 4 for the x coordinate and positive 4 for the y coordinate. Now similarly here is a different system, right? But now they have y isolated. So instead of using y, I can use the expression that represents y. And so instead of using a y here, I will use that expression that can um, be used instead of y, since y is equivalent to this expression. So I'm going to put in 3x minus 7, and it's still equal to negative 22. Now I can distribute, remember you have to multiply before you can add. So I've got to distribute this, positive 15x, positive times a negative is negative 35. Combine my like terms, I get 13x minus 35 equal to negative 22 and then if I add 35 I get 13x equals 13 and then if I divide by 13 I get x equals 1 but then I have an expression to find out what y is so if I plug in 1 I get 3 minus 7 or negative 4 equals y so the point here would be 1 for the x-coordinate, negative 4 for the y-coordinate. Now in the last example, notice that they do not have the variable isolated yet. Okay. However, I can manipulate an any one of the equations to isolate the variable. The easiest one to choose is to choose the one that doesn't have a coefficient in front of it. If all of them have coefficients in front of it, then good luck. You just pick one letter and try to get it by itself, okay? But in this instance, I do have a variable that is, um, does not have a coefficient. It doesn't have a 2 or a fraction or anything crazy. So I'm going to try to isolate this for y. So in order for me to do that, I would have to take that equation, and then I would have to try to get the y by itself by adding 3x to the other side. And so then I get a positive y equals positive 3x minus 9. You cannot combine these, they're not like terms. Now that I have an expression for y, instead of using y, I can use its equivalent expression into the other equation that I didn't just use. Okay? So then now I'm going to do 4x minus 3 times that expression, 3x minus 9, in place of the y. So remember, you're replacing these variables. That's the substitution part, okay? 
You should not have the y and the 3x minus 9 both there, okay? It should completely replace it. So I cannot add or subtract until I multiply. So here I must multiply, but notice that this time I'm multiplying a negative 3. So negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. Negative 3 times negative 9 is a positive 27. And if I combine my like terms, I end up with this equation. And if I try to solve for x, I get negative 5x equals negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 5. I get that x equals 2. And so I have the x coordinate. Now I just need to go back to that expression for y to figure out what the y coordinate is. So y in this case equals negative 3. So what is the point? The point is the x-coordinate comma the y-coordinate.